Hello my dear students, so today I am going to start the next methods of measurement of correlation coefficient we have Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. So this is also one of the methods used to measure the correlation coefficient. Now one formula is given there with the help of this formula we can calculate uh, this Carl Pearson co coefficient of correlation. So the formula is R equals to summation x y divided by under root summation x square into summation y square so this is the formula okay this is the formula to calculate now here you have to know what is that small x what is the small y how will calculate the summation x square how will calculate the summation y square so first i will discuss the steps okay different steps involved in calculating this Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation so first step okay first step we have to calculate the mean of x and y we have to calculate the mean of We have to calculate the mean of the series of x and y. So x and y series will be given in the question. So on the basis of that, we have to calculate mean of x and y. So after calculating mean, the second step, second step, we have to calculate the deviation from mean. Second step. We have to calculate the deviation from mean x bar and y bar. Okay, so that will be clear by doing one sum. And third step, third step we have after calculating the deviation from mean that that will be represented by small x and small y. Okay, here uh, small x will be x minus x bar and small y uh, small y will be a y minus y bar now after calculating this uh, deviation from mean that small x and y here i am showing you the method how to calculate that small x and small y so small x is equals to x minus x bar so that particular deviation uh, sorry that particular observation minus x bar whatever the mean we will get the uh, difference between these two will be represented by small x similarly for small y that observation minus mean of y whatever we will get that one we have to subtract then we'll get y now in third step okay in third step we have to find this uh, x square x square and uh, y square now if you get x square and y square then it will be easy for you uh, us to apply this formula then uh, we will be easily getting the value of that r that is Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation okay now I am going to solve one question okay so in this question it is given the variables are given we can say that variables are given x and y so x variable are given 12 9 8 10 11 13 7 similarly y variable is also given so before uh, doing this uh, when i was explaining the formula in that case it was mentioned first step in first step we have discussed that we have to calculate the mean okay mean of variable x and y so variable x and y will be given i also uh, explained you this one while uh, doing the formula okay formula part i said that the variable will be given x and y will be given so this is given in our question now i will write this one in a column form so that it will be easy for us okay let's start first we have x then i will do small x equals to x minus x bar second column and third will be x square okay now first we have to write the value of this 12 9 9 then 8 then we have 10 then 11 
then 13 then 7 okay so first step we have to calculate the mean so all calculate mean mean is represented by x bar x bar equals to summation x by n so here we will calculate summation x summation x means we have to add 12 plus 9 21 29 39 40 50 then 63 70 so here we got summation x equals to 70 now n count it the number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 7 is the n equals to 7 x bar equals to 70 so here if it 7 1 the 7 10 the 70 that means here we got x bar equals to 10 okay x bar we have i'm writing here x bar equals to 10 we got it x bar equals to 10 okay so first step we have completed now i will move to the second part second part we have we have to calculate small x so x minus x bar now x how much we have x we have 12 minus x bar we got it x bar we have 10 so 12 minus 10 we have 2 <coughs> next one we have 9 9 minus 10 equals to minus 1 here 8 minus 10 we have minus 2 then next one we have 10 minus 10 we have a 0 then 11 minus 10 1 then 13 minus 10 3 then 7 minus 10 minus 3 once again please check it what will you do first we will calculate the value of mean x bar okay x bar we have calculated x bar equals to 10 then this small x is this one is called deviation from mean deviation from mean means whatever the observation we have given that observation minus mean whatever we have calculated that in our case we have 10 so here 12 first observation is 12 12 minus x bar x bar we have calculated 10 so 12 minus 10 we got 2 similarly for the second observation 9 minus x bar x bar see x bar we have 10 x bar we have 10 so here we got minus 1 next observation we have 8 value of x we have 8 8 minus 10 minus 2 next one we have 10 minus x bar also we have 10 so 10 minus 10 is 0 next value we have 11 11 minus 10 we have a 1 13 minus 10 3 7 minus 10 minus 3 so here we got the value of small x now we have to calculate x square how we calculate x square x square whatever the value we have got it just square of this so 2 square means here we'll get 4 minus 1 square means 1 minus 2 square means 4 0 will remain 0 then next we have 1 square 1 3 square 9 minus 3 square also it will be 9 now we have calculated the value of x square also now next what will do that we will consider the variable y and we will proceed in the same way okay method is same so now i'm writing a y variable a y so variable y we have 14 then 8 then 6 then 9 then 11 then 12 then 3 now here also uh, we have to calculate y bar that means mean of y so y bar what will do we will add this okay summation uh, summation x we will calculate summation uh, sorry summation y we will calculate the value of summation y so 14 plus 8 22 So here we are getting 63 so when we add we are getting 63 okay so summation of y equals to 63 in number of observation 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 here we have 7 that means y bar equals to summation or uh, summation of y by 
in. This is the formula, okay? To calculate the mean. So here we will get summation y we have 63, 63 divided by 7. y bar equals to so 9, 7 1 7, 7 9 just 63. So y bar here we are getting 9. That means here y bar, okay? y bar equals to 9 y bar we have 9 and x bar we have 10 so that x bar part we have already completed now i am moving towards y bar part so y bar we have 9 okay now now we will calculate small small y small y equals to y minus y bar okay y minus y bar so first value y we have 14 so 14 minus y bar how much we have 9 so here we will get 5 next one we have 8 minus 9 minus 1 then 6 minus 9 minus 3 and 9 minus 9 0 then 11 minus 9 2 then 12 minus 9 3 then 3 minus 9 minus 6 now we have to calculate y square y square whatever the value we have we'll do the squaring of this one so 5 5 are 25 minus 1 it will be 1 3 3 are 9 0 will remain 0 2 2 is a 4 3 3 is a 9 6 6 is a 36 now we have calculated this part also now what we we'll do that we will add okay we will add this summation x square summation y square so now i am going to add this summation summation x square okay so if we add this x square 4 plus 4 8 9 10 10 uh, 10. So here we are getting 28. Okay, so we are getting this x square 28. x square 28. Similarly, we will add this y or we can summation y square. So summation y square uh, 25. 25 plus 5. 30. 39. 40, 48, 48 plus, 48 plus, 48 plus. So here we are getting 84, okay? We are getting this one 84. This value will be 84. When we add the value of y square, or y square we are getting 84. Now what we will do that we will apply the formula r equals to summation small x y by under root summation x square into summation of y square. So r equals to c summation x y. Oh, oh, we need to calculate one more column. Okay, summation x y column we don't have. So what we will do that we will make one more column for x y x y okay so we will make one more column now x in the first case x we have 2 2 and a y small y we have 5 so 2 5 is a 10 okay next one minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 y see x y x y means we have to multiply this value minus 1 into minus 1 we have a 1 next one minus 2 into minus 3 my uh, 6 minus into minus plus 2 3 is a 6 next one we have 0 0 so it will remain a 0 next one we have 1 into 2 2 okay then 3 into 2 6 then minus 3 sorry 2 2 into 5 10 okay minus 1 into 1 minus 1 into minus 1 1 okay then third one minus minus 2 into minus 3 6 okay then 0 into 0 0 okay then 1 into 2 2 
then 3 into this 3 into 3 9 9 then minus minus 3 into minus 6 6 3 is a 18 okay so here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay now what we'll do that we will calculate this summation x y so summation x y if we add this summation x y we will get 46 okay here we'll get summation x y we will get 46 since there is no place so i'm writing here summation x y equals to 46 now we can apply this formula r equals to summation x y by under root summation x square into summation y square now i'm rubbing this question part because there is no space to calculate and show you okay so i am moving here now we have r equals to summation x y by under root summation x square into summation y square now summation x y summation x y we have got 46 so here 46 by summation x square summation x square we got it under root 28 into summation y square summation y square we got 84 okay now next step we have 46 by under root if we multiply then we will get this one as or we can get this one as uh, you can do it by using calculator also or, or I am writing directly by calculating we are getting this value as 48 point 48.5 if we remove it from this square root we are getting 48.5 now if we divide this 46 by 48.5 we will get a 0 0.948 we'll get 0 0.9948 that means here the value of r in the previous case we have discussed that the value of r will lie between plus 1 and minus 1 that means r will lie in between minus 1 and plus 1 so here we are getting value 9 point uh, sorry point 0.948 that means it is less than 1 okay till 1 it is acceptable if the value is coming 2 3 4 then your calculation part is wrong so here answer is 0 0.948 so this is your value of correlation coefficient r equals to we are getting 0 0.948 so this is the method to calculate the value of correlation coefficient. Now I will do one more question to uh, make your concept more clear. Okay, you just watch the video, then you will understand how to calculate the value of this correlation coefficient. Okay, so next question I have taken from your uh, numerical example. Okay, question number five. Okay, question number five. This question is from uh, Carl Pearson correlation of coefficient. So question is find the coefficient of correlation between variable x and y using pearson's method so variable are 1 3 4 6 8 9 11 14 and y 1 2 4 4 5 7 8 9 so now we will write this one in a column form so that it will be easy for us to calculate okay so first variable we are writing x okay x 1 3 okay 1 3, 4, 4, 6, 4, 6, 8, 9, 8, 9, 11, 14, 11, 14, okay, so these are the uh, variable, now, first step, what you have to do that, we have to calculate x bar, okay, x bar equals to summation x by n, now summation x, we have to find this summation x, summation x equals to, we have to add this, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 plus 4, 16, sorry, 4 plus 4, 8, 6, 14, okay, 4 plus 1, 5, 5, 14, 14, 22, 28, 
30 so here we are getting this value as 36 6 we are getting this value as 56 okay 56 now we got it x bar equals to oh okay 56 so here 56 divided by number of variable 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 56 by 8 in here we have 8 so 8 7 the 56 so here we are getting x bar equals to 7 now small x equals to x minus x x bar okay so first one we got it x bar equals to 7 okay x bar equals to 7 that means mean of x is 7 now we will do the next part so here x is 1 1 minus 7 minus 6 okay then 3 minus 7 minus 4 then 4 minus 7 minus 3 then 6 minus 7 minus 1 then 8 minus 7 equals to 1 then 9 minus 7 equals to 2 then 11 minus 7 4 then 14 minus 7 equals to 7 so small x now we have to calculate x square x square is nothing the square of this value so 6 6 minus 6 means 36 minus 4 4 4 is a 16 3 3 is a 9 1 1 this one will be also 1 2 2 is a 4 4 4 is a 6 and 7 7 is a 49 okay now we have to add this one summation x square so summation x square uh, we will get 132 so when we add this we will get 132 132 now similarly we will consider this value y okay y variable y so 1 we have 2 2 4 uh, 4 5 7 8 9 okay now here also we have to find summation summation y in order to calculate y bar y bar equals to summation y by n so if we add this 9 plus 8 17 17 plus 7 24 uh, 24 plus 5 29 29 33 37 39 40 so yes we are getting summation y equals to 40 40 by n we have 8 so 40 by 8, 8 5 is a 40, that means y bar equals to 5, okay, now here y bar we got 5, okay, now we have to calculate small y equals to, small y equals to y minus y bar, y bar equals to 5, okay, y bar equals to 5, so I have noted this value at the top of this deviation from mean y now next part see 1 minus 1 minus 5 equals to minus 4 2 minus 5 2 second value is 2 minus 5 so here we will get minus 3 next 4 minus 5 minus 1 then 4 minus 5 again will get minus 1 then 5 minus 5 equals to 0 then 7 minus 5 equals to 2 then 8 minus 5 equals to 3 then 9 minus 5 equals to 4 now again we have to do the squaring of this y okay so I am dropping this part okay now we have to find y small y square so 4 4 is a 16 3 3 is a 9 1 1 this one is also 1 0 then 2 2 is a 4 
So this is a 9, 4 for the 60. Okay. Now here also we have to add the value of summation y square. Okay. We have to find summation y square. So summation y square we are getting here. Uh, 56. Here we are getting 56. Now we have to find x y. Okay. We have to find x y. Now x y x we have minus 6 and 4 6 4 the 24 next one minus 4 minus 3 12 3 3 1 the 3 so 3 1 the 3 then 1 0 0 then 2 4 the 8 then 4 9 the uh, sorry Okay, 6 for the 24, 4 into 3, 12, then 3, minus, uh, minus 3, minus 1, 3, 1 into 1, 1, okay, 1 into then 0, 0, then 2 into, 2 into 2, 4, then 4, 3 is 12, then 7, 7 for the 20, 28. Now when we add summation x, y, summation x, y we will get 84, we will get 84, if we add this summation x, y we will get 84, okay, this one we are getting summation x, y equals we are getting 84, since place is not there, so I am writing at the top, now we will apply the formula r equals to summation x, y by under root summation x square into summation y square now r equals to summation x square we got 84 divided by summation x square under root summation x square summation x square we have got 132 132 into 132 into summation y square we have 56 now r equals to we have 84 when we multiply under root 7392 okay we will get this one value as 7392 now when we remove from this one square root we will get 84 by 85.97 okay we will get I am going here r equals to 84 divided by 85.97 now when we divide this 84 by 85.97 we are getting 0 0.978 okay approx will get the value of r equals to 0 0.978 so this is the method to calculate the value of r okay